Ow, ow, ow. Nope. Rubbish. Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Just dodged a bit of a shower, even though the skies are blue. But there we have it. It is the 29th of December today. We've come in between Christmas and New Year just to try and pinch back another day of what we missed from the big thaw. Oh, the big freeze, I do beg your pardon. Uh, because we've got to get this job done, basically. So we thought we'll come in today. His forecast is supposed to be good, so we thought we'd try and pinch a day back. Um, I'll turn you around and I'll show you what the plan is for today. So what we're doing today, nice and steady, is trying to get this corner up as high as we can. I'm not going to put a profile down there because I've got a pin on the inside. If they fall off, they go down there. That's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? So just get this corner up, rack it back, face work, I'm talking about brickwork, um, and just try our best with that. That way then, if we do come tomorrow and it's a bit drizzly, we've got the block work to do internally. So whilst today is supposed to be like that all day, and relatively warm for the time of year. Uh, that's all we're gonna to do today, nice and steady. So what we did over here, I don't think I explained in the last video, if you're new to the channel, this is the last video that I'm talking about. Set up this bit of a, an A-frame here for our reveal. Uh, just clamped there, clamped at the top, and there is a clamp into a perp around the back of the brick. I'll put it in the back so I can still plumb. Uh, that reveal there and that is that is solid so we're going to take that down set it up there exactly the same kind of way and then go for it we're going to take uh, our level from our lintel height and gauge down and we'll show you that next right got that a-frame set up now for our reveal that's going to show you a versatile way of using our laser level because what i want to do is transfer my lintel height, which I know is right there, onto our profile there, and I want to gauge down with our brickwork. So all we've done, we've put that high, and we've turned it on, and it's found its level. Where that is in height is completely irrelevant, that doesn't matter. And then we've put our receiver on a stick, and then Rich is going to find the level. There, and all I'm going to do is mark a line where the brick meets the batten there. Try and do it one handed. Okay, so that's that. So what we'll do, just for just before we run away, Rich, just mark that all the way around the batten, just so we're not just there. He marks that all the way around. And then you come over here. Then all we do on this one, mate, is find the find where the level is again. And a bit. There. And then just where that mark is, mark that onto your profile. Which is there. So now Okay, mate, that's that. So that mark now is perfectly level with our top brick over there. Now all I've got to do now is gauge down from there. It's a far more accurate way of doing things. And then once I've built up to those gauge marks, that's our finishing point. And we know that when we run all that in, our lintels will be perfectly level. Right, and this is what we're going to do for today. Profiles are all set up. Everything's plumbed up. Everything's ready to go. We've got our height of our level of our lintel, beg your pardon, which is there, I've gauged down. So any discrepancies, I can bump up or down, whatever, and just go to those marks, and we know we're gonna be spot on, like I've said. And then what we're gonna do is block bond this in. So our first three course, will go up to that block there and finish flush with the top. And then our next three will go over half a block, like so, and then the next three over that, we'll step back. So the blocks are bonded in half bond all the way up until we think we're in 
viewing distance from over the fence or from anything over that way. And that's what we're going to do. So we'll set you up on the time lapse now. Uh, we've just got that camera set up there. I'm going to put one somewhere fancy and then we'll go from there. Okay, built all that now as always I can go. I'm going to point it up and I'll get the compo quite dry because it's uh, these bricks are tiny, so I'm going to bump up quite a lot. Okay, big, fairly big, big joints, fairly big, big joints, fairly big bed joints, and I'm still getting low, so keep it up, so to speak. Five more course to go to little heights and then continue around the corner and then we'll, we'll try and back it all up. But, Point up and then trestle round, and that's when the fun begins. Right, all that's pointed up, I'll brush it off in a sec. Trestle's all set up. We'll get this up now. Just five more course, and then we'll do a bit of running in. Okay, that's all up now. Leaving that there just a bit of stability, the wind's picking up a bit, although we are fairly protected around here, so I'm not that worried about it, but something doesn't need to be done right at this moment, so we'll leave it in whilst we're messing about. Then all we're going to do, only freehand, no profiles, I probably won't film it or anything, but just get this corner up and then just run these in as high as we dare to go, and then uh, that'll be that gable done. To believe somebody walks on there, or did they? Uh, right, the uh, we're all done for the day. It's getting dark now, as you can probably tell. Uh, that's all up, all nice. It covers a bit of plastic under that, and a bit of hessian over it. I think we're in some bad weather tomorrow. That looks quite tall, doesn't it? Without being backed up, but it's only six course, so it's all right. It's all tied in, and there's a corner there that's all been taken off, pointed, and put back on just to brace it. Um, there's not going to be any issues there at all, no problem. Uh, and what we've also done is an exact mirror image of what we did over there, although I know we didn't film this bit. 
But we've done all of the skirts and everything and the damp exactly how we did over there, which we did show you. Um, if this is your first video, again, this is a video that you're after to see all that. Um, what we didn't show you last time, we set up um, another profile here and um, set up just some two cores here just to see what cuts work what. And it's excellent because that's a full block and that works full into there, which is excellent. And then to get our bond, that's a three quarter. That off cut goes there, which creates this bond, and that is an exact half. So as economical as we can be with the cuts, which is good. Um, when I said I haven't got a dory block, what I meant was I haven't got a 51 mil dory block. These are a 51 mil profile. These are only um, 50 mil, and I'll show you. You can't see it, too dark, but I'll show you tomorrow what that's about. So yeah, that's it for today then. Onwards and upwards tomorrow. And I think it will be onward and upward today because at the moment it's dry. Now all week it's been forecast that today, Friday um, the 30th, is going to be a complete washout. But we worked hard yesterday knowing that yesterday was supposed to be nice to get all the face work done. So if it was raining today we could grin and bear it and get some thermite blocks up because although it's not great work in the rain you can do it with the um, with the thermalites but it's dry so here we go. So I'll turn you around and I'll tell you the plan. So quick recap what I was going to make yesterday on about these being 51 mil. Oh, oh man, I'm oh, oh, oh. getting old. I okay. getting old. <laughs> no, doesn't need a nail straight onto a pebble. Um, 51 mil profile, 50 mil dory block. Uh, I've had to say this one upside down because I can't. That thing was no gap there. Uh, so it is upside down. I granted, but you can still see me issue. Of the discrepancy so it's no good for brickwork because if you lay a brick to that profile there you're always going to be that far out it's going to kick out your brickwork will be at, at, at the very end so it's no good for that i've got to sort myself out but when all my tools got nicked it's one of the priority wise that was way down the list of what i had to replace so yeah there we go set all up last night which has got a mix on Ooh, using the old carpenter touching bricky's tools using there. the old uh, double-handed technique he's quite good at that um and away we go two course at a time uh then i'll put the insulation in i don't struggle and put the insulation in after one course and then there's no room between that and the line just why bother um which is why i have the cavities 110 mil it's just to give that little bit extra room to put it in got me fixed brick clamp undecided there's a load of people on youtube that i like and respect and all that that swear by them so i know i'm in the minority and i know i might even be wrong but i can't seem to get on with them and I, in terms of a bit fiddly and really struggle to see the point but anyway got one so i'll probably use this yeah away we go <laughs> Excellent, all that sorted. Weather is holding off nicely, so uh, it's all good. Uh, whenever you're doing this, as you saw, I've got the profile set up there and I'm, I've built this corner two course at a time and run it in with the um, the, fix, the, the fixed brick clamp thing, which to be honest came into its own. The, I wouldn't use it for anything else, but um, it was ace for that. Credit where it's due. Um, so we know that's going to be right because you've leveled that, or you've plumbed it as you go, and you know that's right because you've gone against a uh, profile. But these blocks are so light, you've just got to check the middle because the insulation goes in and it can push it out a little bit, um, which is another benefit of getting the front up first. That's gone off, so you're pushing up against something solid. If it starts to belly out, which is sort of inevitable in certain places with this kind of insulation, so you just got to check the middle. I've already been round and. Where are we? So we're good there. So it's always worth checking. If it is coming out a bit, um, as I say, so long as you know that the outer skin has gone off, you can just tap it back a bit uh, and get it back within tolerance. It's all been plastered boarded anyway, but you've still got to try and get it right, haven't you? So whilst we're still slightly undecided with the weather, we're not going to start the facing work yet. So we'll brick these in along here um, which we're showing you on a previous video the link for that will be in the description uh, and then we can set out our wall and get our cuts which we've already done last week save using the steel saw between christmas and new year's give the neighbors a bit of a rest uh yeah and then that'll all be set out then and then i will look to the skies seek inspiration and see what we're going to do next 
Okay, so we've bedded these blocks in, the slip bricks underneath, and bedded the blocks down, and put a line up each corner. I'll zoom out a little bit, there's that. And then run this in. So our internal wall now is set up. And then we've come out here, bedded the damp on the same way we did last time. And so it's a bit of a reveal a-frame there. So all our hard work's done now. We've built the corners. They're all to gauge and leveled and we know they're right. So what we've got to do now is corner block on each corner, which is what we've done. And then up we go. Just this panel here. Uh, one thing we have got to be careful of though is the wind. Um, there's no corners. There's, no, there's going to be no strength in this. So I'm going to come up seven course and then back it up. There's no point doing... Um, any less than that because the wall ties won't really be in it to uh, to hold it so six course up is where the the, uh, the first wall ties will go there's some on this level but they're not going to do it a lot really so six is where the first go along the along the, the length of it and then we'll back it up um and yeah and, and then that will hold it you'll see more i'll explain more as i as i go along but yeah just run it in now one thing i didn't mention there the reason why we haven't done a profile there is because I'm just going to run these bricks in now nice 10 mil joints um, and just see where it finishes and then put our reveal to that I'm not going to put revealing then open up or close up or do anything like that so nice and easy all the way across and make it work for us what's my glamorous assistant put 250 mil insulation down there I'll just talk you through we've gone up seven course there the reason why seven is because Wall ties go every three on a reveal, but every six, this is brickwork, imperial brickwork, uh, metric brickwork, I beg your pardon, um, every six up. So if we were just to go six course and then back this up with block work for stability, it's not good doing anything, it's not tied in. So you go one more on the seven, so that is actually attached to something. And then we go three course of blocks on top, uh, uh, on here now, which will incorporate this wall tight so then it, it's the two walls now are, are tied in and stability wise it's doing some another compost wet but firm light blocks it goes off really quick these we've kept bone dry which is done a good job of that keeping them dry so these are going off uh very quickly so it'll do something not a lot until it's fully gone off granted but it'll do something so got to line up now corner to corner run those in and then back on the outside so just pointed that panel up and then this is what's on the base it's easy to show you and explain it half the time isn't it so that those wall ties now are actually doing something in terms of the stability for these two walls because it's true to form and if you can hear the wind or see it it's picked right up so you see the wind see the wind see the wind <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe not <laughs> i can definitely smell it half the time so uh yeah uh, we'll continue now bit by bit we can't only go so wide because we've got a, the window height to go in at 10.50 so a few more course and then we'll be looking at that sunny weather radio's off we've got to talk to each other now you know don't you Valves, unless we've got them, please. trying to pick the pinker side anytime I can over the lighter side rubbish just so it blends in a bit better
and as you can tell I prefer the old lung bed over that pick and dipping whatever it is it's not for me I must admit makes a lot of people a lot of money though so fair play to you You have to go back to your spot every two seconds. Uh, well, that's a stay away. I think once the beds are down. Oh, hello. Where's You're alright. That mud's creaky. Right. Lots of butter up both of them. And then. Better face for them both. For them, so it helps you get a full of joints. There we go. Oh, yeah, lovely. Is it the same every time at that end? What do you mean? The, the increase? Um, no, it narrows down after a bit. Not, not till quite high though, actually. Right, the light is against us. Um, well, it's gone. It's gone away for the weekend. Uh, so, you can't really see that, but a little bit of a disaster here. There's some wet bricks got up. They only feel damp, but when you, you lay them, you realise that they're sodden, they just start to sink, so I had to replace a couple there. But uh, It's all sorted now. Uh, I'll show you this next week uh, in better light. Just got a couple on. Just to take the wall ties at that height. That's all up there. Um, just put that one in to get that wall high, that, that wall tie there, but then we realise that I can't go all the way across because we've got one more course of bricks and it's windows, so we've got to work out, have a chat with the customer where they want the window setting out. So we think with the wall that's going down here, we're safe putting those to one without redoing them. One block there obviously was safe, so it's just where in this little bit they're going to want the sink and things, blah de blah de blah. So right then, that's that. And here we have it, uh, pulled back another couple of days, as I say, it's between Christmas and New Year, so uh, we got lucky with the weather today, because um, it was supposed to be an absolute washout. If, if, if any of you know Carol Kirkwood, have a word, will you? Because we nearly stayed at home today, we managed to get the day in, which is that we're happy about. So what we've got to do next week then, when we're here, is get that up to height, lintels on, and then that's that, the gables are done. So as soon as the lintels are on, go over them, cut the course, and then it's... Uh, this man gets his new tool belt out, which you can yeah. see in this video, which he's very happy about. I am. And he can start swinging from the rafters, quite literally. He's very happy. So, as much as I love mixing compo and, and moving bricks, I do love chopping wood and better. Yeah, and as Jim and Al once said, he's lying. 
Um, we'll see you. Uh, well, we won't see you. I keep saying it. We haven't got a clue who you are. Do but we, well, we are. We do appreciate you subscribing and watching. And blah de blah de blah. You know we do. So right then. Uh, take care. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. See you soon. I won't see you. Lucky saying. Happy New Year.